Hi, I'm Lou from Camera Terror Company. Today I'm going to show you how to use the PT20, how to set it up, and some of its features. First thing you got to do is mount the camera. I'm going to take this old cannon because it's good and heavy. You know how it can handle the weight. You're going to take the camera nut, slide it up through the slot in the bottom of the camera plate, and screw it into the bottom of your camera or your quick release plate. Once it's seated in the bottom of the camera, now you can try to slide your camera forward or backwards and get it roughly balanced in its horizontal plane. Looks like that's fairly close. And then you take the knurled nut and screw it up so it presses it against the bottom of the camera plate to hold it in place. Next and most importantly is the vertical balance. Loosen this handle below the camera plate and you've got to slide the camera up until the lens is just about even with the bolt that goes through the tilt gear. This is roughly the vertical balance. Now the camera should want to stay in place at almost any angle. As you can see it's going a little bit forward, so it may need to be a little bit higher. Let's try that. That seems fairly good. And it takes very little effort to move it or get it to stay in any one position. So it's fairly well balanced. Next we're going to plug in the pan tilt cable. The short end of the pan tilt cable goes into the pan motor because it never moves. The long end goes into the tilt so that it can wrap around and give you at least 720 degrees of movement. Each cable can be plugged in two ways, 180 degrees apart. This controls the direction. If you're above a tripod or a jib arm uh, and you move the joystick left, you want it to go left. If you then took the pan tilt and you put it below the jib arm, um, left would then become right. So you would just unplug one of these cables, the pan cable in this instance, turn it 180 degrees and plug it back in. Now the joystick will work the correct way. The direction in which you place your camera on the pan tilt um, would constitute which way the tilt would go in. And again, you can just change that by turning it 180 degrees and plugging it back in. Next, we're going to take the controller. We're going to plug the other end of the pan tilt cable, the four pin connector, into the back of the box, secure the ring. Then we're going to take the four pin XLR provided with our power supply plug that in. Turn the unit on and now you have power. Now as you can see when you push the unit forward it's actually going up. So all you have to do is unplug this cable, turn it 180 degrees, Plug it back in, secure the ring. Now when we push down, the unit goes down and pull back, it goes up. Right is right and left is left, so those are correct. Now your cables are set. Next we'll look at the controls of the PT20. You have linear and logarithmic joystick and speed control. There's also a ramp as you move away from linear up to the center detent or away from logarithmic up to the center detent, it creates more of a ramp. A linear joystick is one where each degree of movement increases the speed exactly the same. A logarithmic joystick, the early movements don't create much speed, but you still have full speed in the end, kind of a sloping up curve. The speed control limits the available speed to the joystick. So if you want to have more control over the slower movements, you can also turn the speed down. Now each degree of movement is controlling a much smaller range of speed, so if you're much more accurate with the slow movements. So let's try it out. Okay, first let's turn the speed all the way up. We'll put it on linear and the power on. Now we should wait for two seconds because during the first two seconds the computer inside actually centers the joystick to make it perfect so it always comes back to zero 
and the unit never moves or drifts on you. So now that we have it on linear, each degree of movement will increase the speed exactly the same. If we try it on the logarithmic, you'll see that the early movements create very little speed, but you still have full speed in the end should you need it. Now let's try the ramp. We'll go all the way up to the center so it's full ramp on linear. See how it takes a while to start up and, and takes a while to slow down. Works both on the pan and the tilt. Makes the shot perfect for you. But when there's a lot of ramp in, it's tough to actually gauge when you're going to start and when you're going to stop. So a little bit of ramp, probably about the 10 o'clock position, helps you start up smooth and end smooth and still have that degree of accuracy. Now we can also turn the speed knob down. Now we have much greater control because maximum speed is limited. So if that's maximum speed, now we have control of all of those slow speeds with a, still a full deflection of the joystick. So we can creep extremely slow and accurate. Now another unique function of the PT2030 controller is that since the unit calculates zero on the joystick every time you turn it on, there's ways to trick it actually and make it very useful. So if we'll turn the, tighten up the joystick and we'll turn the speed all the way down, hold the joystick over and turn the unit on. Now it's reading the joystick and it thinks that that is zero, full deflection left. So when you let it go, it thinks it's deflected right. So now you turn the joystick up. Or I'm sorry, you turn the speed up. And you can get it to do a consistent move, the same speed without influencing the joystick, and get a perfect move. There's also a feedback system built into the computer where it reads the amperage drawer of the motors and boosts it internally in nanoseconds so if there's any kind of obstruction, it just keeps pushing at the same speed no matter what. So it's always slow and smooth. And if you want to stop it and center it again, shut it off, turn it back on, wait two seconds, and now your joystick centered and you're ready to go. That's the PT-20. I hope I've helped you understand the operations of it and its ease of use. Thank you for watching.